So they say in the olden days, there was a couple living in the desert. And life in the desert is difficult enough by itself, but that year there was a famine, a drought. And the couple were really struggling. So eventually the wife tells the husband, says, listen, why don't you go to the capital, to Baghdad, and go to the court of the Khalifa and put your case there for him to take pity on you and give you from his wealth to ease in your situation. And the Khalifa was known as a noble, benevolent, generous individual. So the husband agreed and decided he was going to take the long trip to Baghdad, to the capital, to go and put his case to the court of the Khalifa. But in Arab culture and in Arab tradition and in Muslim tradition, you normally take a gift with you when you go to someone's house. So noble man, I thought I can't go empty handed, so looks around, what's the most precious asset? that he has, that he could take to the Khalifa. So looking around, the most precious thing in the desert is water. So he filled a water bag full of water from his local well, put it on the back of his mount and decided to make the long trip to Baghdad. Now when he reached the land of the capital, he saw two rivers because you know Iraq Baghdad is known as the place of the two rivers so, and he's brought a bag of water in comparison to this which belongs to the Khalifa his gift all of a sudden seemed so small and insignificant and I can just imagine the insecurity anxiety smallness that he feels as he walks up towards the palace and he's announced and he comes into the court of the Khalifa and humbly presents his gift which compared to what already exists in the capital and owned by the Khalifa the, you know the two rivers Euphrates is there and so small and insignificant but the Khalifa is generous. He is benevolent. He is a Khalifa. So he takes this little gift, insignificant, almost meaningless gift, and gives it the honor and respect and acceptance befitting the majesty of a Khalif. And then responds and reciprocates by giving him and lavishing upon him gifts that would make him happy and not only make him happy, ease in his difficulty back home and support his whole family. This notion is karam, generosity, benevolence, nobility. And Allah is kareem. Allah is kareem. So Allah Rabbul Izza takes the little that we give and expands it, multiplies it, in hasana, in acceptance, in acknowledgement. Inna Allah la yadhlimu mithqala dharra. Allah Rabbul Izza doesn't wrong a person in the minutest. Wa in taku hasanatan yudha'ifha wa yu'ti min ladunhu ajran azima. But if you come with a good deed, he multiplies it and increases it in a manner befitting His Majesty and gives abundant reward in return because He is Kareem.